This is the 1996 Mitsubishi Delica L400KDPE8W winter package. It is the Jasper edition 4x4 turbo diesel. It has the 4M40 engine, 2.8 liter intercooler turbo diesel, four cylinder with an automatic transmission. This Delica does have 97,291 miles. Sun is super bright this morning, so I apologize about that. But we'll go ahead and take a look at the exterior of the vehicle and go over the many options that come with it. is in good condition. It does come with the roof rack rails right under here, under the plastic, in case you didn't want to put any up here. Start over here with this driver's side fender. It does come with the 15 inch alloy wheels. It also has the new Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain tires. Down here it has the chrome stainless running boards. We'll take a look at the windshield. It is in good condition as well. There are some tiny spots I did want to point out. Just all throughout the hood right here. Has the brush guard, the fog lights, and it does come with glass headlights. Those do not fade over time. It does come with the corner marker and the corner mirror. It does have scratches on the door, just throughout. It does have the running board on this side as well. I'm gonna go ahead and point this out right here. A dent and scratch. does come with the spoiler, also a ladder, and a tow package back here. Our website is daltonpikemotorsllc.com. You can see what we have in our inventory, or you could give us a call at 423-331. 6050 and see what we have in our inventory that way.
All right, let's go ahead and take a look under the vehicle. Driver's side door, or driver's side, <laughs> not the driver's side door, sorry.
to take a look at the interior of the vehicle. Start with the driver's side door. It does come with AC, which is air conditioning, power windows, power locks, power mirrors as well. It does come with SRS airbags. You got your glove box. You have an inside and outside thermometer. Can you see it? There you go. It also does come with a USA AM FM radio with the SD card reader, auxiliary port. It is a Bluetooth radio for hands-free calling and audio streaming. It does come with the two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive high and low selection. You do have the middle seat, so it does uh, fit nine comfortably. It does come with the rear curtains as well. And the bed makes a queen-size bed with the seats that fold down. And also the very back seats you can stow them away and they will fold up and just hang on the side to create an open area. It does come with power steering as well. Tilt steering wheel also. Did want to let y'all know that this vehicle is in kilometers, not miles. There's no way it could go 180 miles an hour. All right, let's go ahead and go to the other side. I did want to point out that the headliner is in good condition. Another thing that I didn't mention yet is it comes with front and rear climate control as well. It does come with a 12 volt socket in the very, very back as well. We'll see it when we go ahead and take a look at the back. curtains are here so you have complete privacy in the back.
did want to point out that this seat, you can fold it down. Okay. And you can also stow it away. The lever. So now you have easy access to walk to the back. these seats. All you're going to do is take the headrest out, place it back here, and there's the 12 volts locket. All right, majority of the vans will have the lever down here to stow the seats, but with this one they actually come in the seats. So you're going to lean this down, And then to take these down, all you're going to do is lift that, fold this out, drop it. Oh, 
Nope, just kidding. I forgot to show you all the bed. While I have the seats down. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and close this. I'll come back to the door in just a minute. You're gonna put this forward. And then you push the little lever that's right here up. Okay. Let's start with right here. I'll lay the seat down. Let me pull this forward really quick. Lay the seat down. And you're going to take these head headrests. can either lay like this or you can put an air mattress on the top of it and make you a queen size bed. Plenty of room. I'm 5'11 and there's still room for my feet. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rear door and then we'll take a look under the hood. Start with the window. It does have scratches and there's a crack right here. Now we can put the seats up. Put the creeper up really quick. This 
service that you did have on it is new engine oil and new oil filter, new transmission fluid. New dual diehard batteries, new R134A Freon, new AC compressor oil, new serpentine belts, new fuel filter, new radiator cap, new radiator coolant, new radiator, new AC compressor clutch, does have a new AC pump as well. Brake pad depth is at 70% and it is new tires all the way around. It has been fully serviced and it is good to go. check the exhaust and the lights on the dash and then we'll go ahead and take it for a test drive. You can see the lights do come on. So you know they have them pinched out. Alright. Go ahead and check the exhaust. All right, it is not smoking. So we are gonna go ahead and take it for a test drive. Okay, I'm a little difficulty with the seatbelt. I'm not a lefty and I had to put it in with my left hand. All right, it does also come with the on and off overdrive button as well. vehicle is registered to us here at Dalton Pike Motors LLC here in Cleveland, Tennessee. We are a used car dealer that specializes in right-hand drive vehicles and classics as well. This vehicle does come with a clean Tennessee title which can be registered anywhere in America, exceptions being some counties in California and also some counties in Maine. If you do live in Maine or in California, we can we can send you a copy of the title if you would like to check with your local government to see if it could be titled there. If you would like to take a look at this vehicle at our car lot and take it for test drive, we are located here in Cleveland, Tennessee. Also, if you would like to fly in and check this vehicle out, we can meet you at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport for free. You do not have to get a rental vehicle. We can also pick you up from the airport or meet you at the airport. Just let us know if that is the option that you do choose. We also have a service shop here. So if you would like to come check the vehicle out, we can put it on the lift for you. Or if you would like to bring your mechanic friend, we can put it on the lift for him or her as well. And we also welcome all third party inspections just let us know when your inspector is going to be coming and we can put the vehicle on the lift for him or her as well. We also do deliver. The delivery costs are actually pretty cheap nowadays and depending on where you're located at, it may be a lot cheaper than you driving. The prices do vary depending on where you're located at. For payment, we accept cash, cashier's check, wire transfer, money order, and even personal check. 
If payment is made with a personal check, we do however hold the title and the vehicle until the check does clear. We accept credit card payment for full payment or partial payment as well. We also have some financing options available. Did want to let you know that the car will come with a 30 day temporary tag on it if you purchase it here and you can drive it home same day. Also, if you purchase it at the airport, it will come with a 30 day temporary tag and you can also drive it home immediately. And if you have the vehicle delivered to your house, it will also come with a 30 day temporary tag. You can also give us a call to see what we have in our inventory here at Daunt Pike Motors LLC of Cleveland, Tennessee, and that phone number is 423-331-6050. Again, that's Daunt Pike Motors LLC here in Cleveland, Tennessee, and that phone number is 423-331-6050, or you can check us out on the web at DauntPikeMotorsLLC.com. All right, I'm going to let go of the steering wheel to make sure it's not pulling to one side or the other, and it's not. We have been driving for about five or six minutes now, and as you can see, the check engine light is not on. The temperature gauge is not reading hot. It's right where it's supposed to be, and the oil pressure light or any of the other ones are not on either. I just want to tell y'all thank you so much, and I hope you have a blessed and safe day. Thanks again.